welcome to Fatty Patty's Peppers. Okay. So today I'm going to alter this cute little telephone. And I've already actually um, taken it apart. Um, this part actually fell out, so I'll have to glue that back in there. But anyway, it's a cute little um, telephone. And I took all the insides out. Let's see if I can show you. So I took all the insides out and what I'm going to do is put in a small little mini album in here. So I thought that would be like really super cute. So um, first thing I want to do before I paint this is to decide what um, colors uh, or you know what papers I'm going to use. And um, I have this paper collection. It's um, Keller Kurtz and Company. Um, I don't think it says a uh, design, but anyway, um, it's a huge stack. So it's got 180 papers in here. And I did kind of go through these here like oh excuse you for dying I'm sorry okay I'm like actually I'm very excited about this I just okay so like I was like looking through some of the papers in here and they're absolutely beautiful so I know that I want to do this um shabby chic and um Or at least I think I do. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this one shabby chic. Okay, so let me show you the ones that I picked out so far. I am liking these. So... This is what I'm liking. I don't know if this one, now that I see it better, I don't know if that one really matches this. I mean, the whole paper collection goes together, but you know, I don't know. Let me see if I can find something a little bit more girly. Or maybe not, I don't know. Hmm. I like this one, but that's a lot like this one. I really like this one too. I am sorry, I don't mean to be like yawning on y'all. I really like this one too, but I like this one too because of the ladies. Love that one. That one's beautiful. Cute. 
I love this one. Um, I mean, I would totally use this one, but it's um, not for me. And, uh, you know, I don't know if my friend would like this, you know, telephone. Although it's totally cute and it goes. I like this one too. This one. Oh my god, thinking I like all of them. <laughs> um, I like that. Hmm. Okay, let me just stick with what I have. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, cover the phone in um, Mod Podge to see if I can get the paint to stick. to take these off but they're actually like glued in here so that didn't help so let me start off with this piece then um here we go get out my sponge and um i did wash this in um bleach before I picked it up or before I brought it over here I'm sorry I'm not making any sense right because I'm tired but I'm so excited about this project although right now I don't sound like it but I <laughs> I know, I'm pretty much going over everything because I think I'm pretty much going to paint over all of this. And in here, I haven't decided on whether I'm going to line this with fabric or I'm going to paint on the inside of it. But I definitely know it's going to be black.
can do the same with the handle. You want to be real careful. Not, and I say that now, and I'm not being careful. Don't want to get glue all over the metal pieces. You know, never mind. I'm going to paint over these two because this is like a really dull color. And I'm most likely going to um, use metallic. That's done. Oh, we're going to do the top of my telephone. Okay, let me get out another brush. unscrew this at some point soon to get that off of there and get around these little Paint this foam. You can have a paint here. See, I have this metallic sand in. That's very similar to the color that it is now. I have this yellow color. of pink. The only thing is though is that if I do the touch of pink it won't match the cord. There's hydrangea pink. Let me try this metallic although I had issues with that before. So Let's see what we come up with here. Wow, 
this like matches really good. Okay, so I realized that this brush is way too darn stiff. Okay, let me get out another spongy brush. And this one is... There. That's working. Let me turn on my heat gun. try this touch of pink and see if that works. because of that metallic sheen underneath.
goodness. I'm making a hot mess, right? Hold on one second. be able to see you know like the paint by the time I'm done with it because of the papers but just in case Okay, sorry if I'm not doing this on screen here, but Okay, so on this piece, I'm going to um, I like this metallic stuff because it does sheen here. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, No, I'm like hitting this stuff. I'm not really worried about that. It is interesting looking. 
Hmm. I wonder what happened if I kind of gave it like this, uh, I don't know, patina look. Let me see if I can give it that. I'm just checking. I'm not really sticking with this. I don't know yet. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Am I thinking I'm liking that? I'll show y'all in just a second. Okay, so it's kind of giving it this, like, I don't know, weird patina look to it. Isn't that cool? Okay, y'all are probably wondering, do I experiment paint all the time? Yes, I do.
I'm trying to be really careful not to get in the um, inside where the little numbers are. So we'll see if that works because we know I'm messy. Shall I say sea foam green? Oops. Just so here. Got a little too much here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that out. See if it'll let me do that.
There we go. There's a close up of it so far. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and, um, I don't know, maybe I'll do some of this first. Hold on. Whoops. They're not too cute. Love it. I know, I said I was going to call it quits a lie. <laughs> when I get into something, I'm so quiet and I just do what I got to do. So.
thinking if I at least get the paint job done that um, tomorrow I'll just be able to paper it so 